So I've been wanting to do like a pastel, pinky, purpley kind of makeup tutorial for about a month now. But I've been so busy and I don't know, I just have not got it up. My mind is going to go nuts if I don't do one. So that's what I'm going to do today. I have no idea what kind of look I want to do. Like I know I want pinks and purples and maybe some like glitters. I don't know. We're just going to wing it today and hopefully... It works out. I'm gonna do a talk through video because I've not done one of them in like maybe a year and a half. And I thought it would be fun to just try and use some products that I haven't used in a very long time or maybe even some new ones. I'm gonna start with the eyes. No, I'll start with the brows, I think. So for brows, I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow. I literally have not used this in so, so long. Like, look at that. I think I might mix it with some oil and I'm just going to use the Josie Moran Pure Argan Oil. So I think I might just put like one or two drops into the dip brow. Also, I'm using all natural lights today, so hopefully this stays like the one color throughout the video. If not, that's what's going on like now, like outside. I have not used this in oh, just so long and I'm hoping that this turns out. So it looks like we're going for a bold brow today, which I guess is okay. I literally forgot how much I love this stuff. It's so quick and easy to do your brows. Also, the brush I'm using is the MAC 208. To clean up my brows, I'm going to use a new product from NYX. It's called the Gotcha Covered Total Concealer. I haven't even taken it out of the box yet, so that's what the box looks like there. That's what the packaging there looks like. And let's see what the formula... Formula? Formulas like it's really thick and you can see that it's that pale you can barely see it come out So I'm just gonna go in and define underneath my brows to make them nice and sharp So I'm gonna go in and set my brows using the L'Oreal Artist Brow Plumper Plumper. I've been like stuck in a little rut lately just using all the same products uh, Just like my holy grails and products that I know work for me So I'm gonna move on to the eyes and I'm just gonna use that same Concealer that we use to carve out the brows as a eyeshadow base Just to test out how it goes. So the brush I'm gonna be using to buff in this concealer is my 142 from Zoeva, which is just a concealer buffer brush. I'm just gonna go in and set down that concealer with my Face of Australia loose powder, transparent, translucent powder. So I still really don't know what I'm gonna do, but I've got a whole bunch of like pastel-y pinks and purples in front of me. Um, pretty sure they're all from Morphe, if not Makeup Geek, but I'll let you guys know like which ones I'm using. So I'm gonna start out with Pretty in Pink by Morphe, which is a really pastel-y pinky shade. And I'm going to use my Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush, which is one of my favorite brushes. I'm just going to work this in to the crease and the outer crease. So I don't think I want to do a wing today. I'm pretty sure I don't anyway. So the next color I'm going to go in with is Orchid by Morphe, which is a darker pink shade. And I think I'm going to focus this more directly in the crease and and blow it out on the outer corner. And the brush I'm using is the 228 by Zoeva. So the next color I'm gonna go in with is called Wisteria and it's by Makeup Geek. It's like this pretty, pretty pastel-y purpley shade. So the brush I'm gonna use is the 227 Lux Soft Definer brush. And I'm gonna go in and just blend that in to the outer crease of the eye. And I'm gonna go in with Duchess from Makeup Geek. I'm just gonna pop that in to the outer corner. Then I'm just gonna go in with that soft definer brush with a little bit of product and I'm just gonna tap off that excess and I'm just gonna blend it into the outer corner. So I'm gonna take a little bit more of that concealer. I wasn't gonna do a cut crease but 
I think I'm just gonna do a little one. So I'm just gonna go in and do half of the inner corner of the eye. So what I like to do when I do a cut crease like this is I like to put it closest to uh, the lash line and like the mono lid and then I look straight ahead because I do have such hooded eyes. It transfers and then that gives me like a guideline of where to put the rest of the concealer. So I'm just gonna go back in with that first shade we used which was pretty in pink by Morphe and I'm just gonna press that on to the lid where we put the concealer. So the brush that I'm using also is the 234 Luxe Shader by Zoeva. Now I'm just gonna go in with a tiny and I mean tiny tiny bit of Grape Day by Morphe and just apply it really really precisely to the outer crease just to give it a little bit more depth. So I think I want to go in with some glitter. I'm going to use this rose gold glitter from Chi Chi. I think I'm going to just run it from like that cut crease from the inner corner and just kind of like fade it outwards if that makes sense. I might just bring it a little bit further and kind of just fade it out a little bit. I'm just going to take Shimmer Shimmer by Makeup Geek to highlight my brow bone and inner corner. The brush I'm using is the Inner Corner Shade Up by Sigma. So I'm just going to use my NYX Matte Liquid Liner which is literally my favourite liquid liner in the whole world. I was trying not to use products that I have used recently. This eyeliner is really wet but it does not budge, like I mean does not budge and it's so easy to apply. So the lashes I'm going to be using are um, some double layered lashes by Model Rock. They are the Smoky Velvet. So now that the eyes are all done, this is what they look like. I'm gonna go in and do the face. So I'm gonna go in with the Josie Moran Oil to hydrate my face just because I have really, really dry skin. So I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this is in the shade, I have no idea because it's literally not on it, but I'm pretty fair at the moment. So it's pretty like pale, the shade. And the brush I'm using is the Morphe M439. I literally have not used this foundation in so, so long. I remember when I first got this foundation, I didn't really like it that much, so I'm hoping that I like it today. It's just really, really drying on my skin. I haven't used it in a long time, so maybe I have a different opinion on it now. So already I can tell I don't really like the way this is sitting on my skin. I don't know why, I thought I would give it a little try, like a little test out, but it's just really, really bad on my skin. I don't know why. So I'm gonna go back in with that NYX concealer that we use to clean up the brows and prime the eyelids. So the brush I'm gonna use is by Sigma and it's the Concealer Blend Kabuki brush. So I'm just gonna pop that underneath my eyes and also just down the center of my face. And because it is quite thick, I'm gonna use this Josie Moran oil just to hydrate my skin a little bit. So to set underneath my eyes, I'm gonna use this e.l.f. High Definition Powder. I think I've only literally ever used this stuff like once and it's literally getting everywhere. So it's just a loose powder and I'm just using my Spotlight Duster Brush by Sigma and just setting underneath my eyes and also down the center of my face. To contour today, I'm using the Hula Light by Benefit Cosmetics. I've used it before and it's actually really, really pretty. I do have the original Hula, which I love. So we're gonna go in and contour using the Morphe E4, which I usually use for blush, but I can't be bothered finding a different brush. So we're just going to use this one and I'm just going to pop that kind of like on my temples there and push it back into my hairline and then just underneath my double chin and around the jawline just to give me a little bit of definition. I'm also just going to contour the sides of my nose as well using a smaller brush. This one is by Jessup and it is the large buff brush. I'm just gonna do it super quick. For blush, I'm gonna use this e.l.f. one. I feel like I'm on a roll with these e.l.f. products. I have not used them in so long, but this one is in the shade Pink Passion. So it's a really like hot pink 
and I'm just going to use the same brush that we used to contour which was the Morphe E4. Then for highlighter I'm going to use an e.l.f. highlighter because we just seem to be on this roll and it is in the shade Diamonds which is this dusty pinky pearly shade and the brush I'm using is just a NYX brush it's like an eyeshadow blending brush but I'm using it to highlight today can you guys see how good this is now I'm just gonna finish underneath my eyes do my lips and then we are done okay so I'm gonna go back in with Pretty in Pink by Morphe and I'm just going to place that underneath my lower lash line from the outer corner to the inner corner. I'm just going to use this short shader by Jessa. I'm going to use this one which is Duchess by Makeup Geek. So I'm just going to do that as close to the lash line as possible. And I'm also going to connect it with the outer shadow on my eyes. Then I'm just going to take Orchid again which is by Morphe which is like that hot pink shade. And just on the same brush I'm just going to smoke out that lower lash line just to make it a little bit more intense. Then I'm just going to apply some mascara to the lower lashes and this one is by NYX and I feel I need something in the waterline so I'm just going to use a white one and this one is from NYX. For lipstick I'm going to use a Chi Chi one and it's a creamy matte liquid lipstick in the shade Flirt. So this is the final look. Finally, I hope you guys like enjoyed this little chit chat video. Um, I'm not really used to them so cut me some slack. Hopefully I'll get used to them and I don't know the conversation can flow a little more but definitely thumbs up this video if you want to see more like bright looks. This is kind of out of my comfort zone as I don't really play with color that much. Everything that I use in today's video will be listed down below of course as per usual. Let me know in the comments down below what look you want to see from me next. So I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!